Hey everybody, this is my extended girly room slash makeup room tour. Um, it's going to be kind of long, so I'm going to go over like all the stuff I have in here. But if you just want to see it, just watch the first few minutes and um, be prepared to see a lot of pink. It's a little overwhelming. <laughs> so here it is. I'm going to do a quick little tour of the room. And the room is really small. So I have to kind of, this actually goes over here like this, like that. Okay. And boom. And here. It's a really small room, so. <clears throat> okay, so. Okay, so I'll talk about the, the room now. Um, up here, I just have my um, Hello Kitty collection. And excuse my voice, I'm probably going to clear my throat a lot because it's been really bothering me lately. It's just that kind of year. Um, <clears throat> my Hello Kitty collection. Um, people know I love Hello Kitty, so I get a lot of Hello Kitty presents, and I just kind of put them up here. Um, these are my little collection. There's a couple hats, and there's, like, plushies, and there's a Hello Kitty doll, and there's a couple other little things, gumball machine. And right below it are my bags. I don't have really expensive bags. These are, like, I don't know, $100 bags or something. They're not expensive. I used to use this black one quite a bit. It's really big and slouchy. It's perfect. It's really soft. It's actually, like... A Hello Kitty embossed leather. Um, those are like patent bags I used to carry, but I don't, but I still love them. And my Cadillac bag is like a travel on. Um, a couple more. And this is my R2, is it R2D2? I think it's C3PO. But I got him at Disney World and I think he's super cute and I had to have it. And then, <clears throat> let me actually go a little bit closer. So these are just some sunnies. These are like cheap ones. These ones are really expensive, but I honestly want to sell them. Um, they're Roberto Cavalli. They were pretty expensive, but I have another pair of ones that are Roberto Cavalli that I love and I keep in my purse and I wear it all the time. But these ones have like, a, um, it's like a snake eating itself. And someone told me that that is a satanic symbol and that stuff creeps me out so I don't wear them. <laughs> I grew up with a really superstitious grandmother who was like, don't have the devil in your house. So it just freaks me out. I really want to sell those. Um, <clears throat> my favorite all times is Lou Desai, um, a Say Miyake right there in the back. On the left of it is Pink Sugar, which I think is like for teenagers, but it's really, really nice and it really smells good and I love it. And um, <clears throat> I love, um, Vera Wang, and there's Versace, and this is Lolita Limpinka, and these ones are all Vera Wang, and then, yeah, Flower Bomb, Versace Pink Crystal, or something like that. Um, this Hello Kitty is, uh, from Sephora. It's like the makeup brush holder. It's super cute. And behind it is the, um, Water for Crystal Bowl my mother-in-law got for me for Christmas. And I have a vision and I really want to fill the whole thing with EOS eggs, like every single color. I think it'd be just super cute, especially around Easter. I just want to fill it up with EOS. And the Pikachu my husband got me, I think is really cute because I'm a total nerd. And um, <clears throat> here, there's just some wallets and I have more I'm going to put in there. And here are some extra little bags and a cute pink makeup bag. And down here we have, um, I um, cycle out my Bath and Body Works. So these are my most highly used ones right now. Um, you can tell that those are like uh, like fall and winter. There's like no no uh, Vanilla Be Noel right here. Joy Be Joyful is like my all-time favorite Christmas. And then this one next to it. Right here is Mahogany Teakwood, and I have been loving that one. It's like a new fave of mine. And then next to this on this cube over here is um, a few more lotions that I use sometimes. And then there's some basic toiletry products like deodorant powder and stuff. And over here are my general lotions. Um, 
I just got the hemp strawberry one. I think it's like strawberry vanilla and it smells really, really good. Or strawberries and cream or something like that. So these are just general ones. A lot of them, like these three, are actually after tanning lotions and I love after tanning lotions because they're so like, I don't know, they're just super hydrating. A lot of silicone in them, I like that. And then over here, I need to get some bins. I'm going to get pink bins for this whole row. And I'm going to put like mittens and hats and scarves and stuff like that in there because I have that stuff, but it's in my closet and I want to get it out. So this is a new shelf actually, which kind of inspired me to like reorganize the room. It was looking really cluttered and it's still pretty cluttered, but in a good way. So <clears throat> shopping bags. And then over here are my two gym bags. Um, This one is inside out. I got this at Disney and I just keep my Beats headphones and stuff like that. And then this bag over here. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my throat. That's just a gym sport and I had to have it. I think it's super cute. And back here, I actually hang my bras, my good ones anyways, my cute ones. I don't know if you can see them. I love this. I hang all of my cute bras and I have my scarves and some swim stuff back here. It's kind of a mess. So, <clears throat> oh yeah. And this lamp I got at like TJ Maxx Home Goods or something, and then I had to have those. I forgot where I got those. But like this is basically like just a big cat bed. My cat sleeps up there, down here, and I have this pillow too. Oh, that was cute. So I'm gonna turn this chair. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my throat. So actually, you know, I'm going to go up here. Um, these two pictures actually did myself. Um, I didn't make them, but I put them together because it was cheaper than buying them at like Hobby Lobby. So I got the paper at Hobby Lobby for like $1.99 each. And then the frames are at Ikea for like five. So I got those. And then this shelf is like my favorites. Um, I got this guy forever ago when I lived in Maine. And on him are my... Mickey ears from Disney World and then <clears throat> this is the first thing I ever got Hello Kitty it's from my mother and then this cup right here says princess on it my sister got me that Caitlin and I just think these are super cute so I put those up there and that's my Hello Kitty hand mirror for my husband and this little piggy bank my sister Jolene got for me and I love it um this Hello Kitty was a present for my husband. This is a present for my husband. And this my husband gave to me on our wedding day. Thought it was super cute. And this <clears throat> is so true. <laughs> Determined and energetic with the loudest stomp in the swamp. And so I had to get it. I got that at the Fern Bank Museum in Atlanta when I was with my sister. And this is the new marshmallow chick candle I got. It's super cute. And then this is my, um, these are also fall and winter over here, actually. And then here are spring and summer. These are all my tanning lotions, and I actually have quite a few downstairs with my tanning bed that I'm using right now. And then <clears throat> I just keep, like, little random hair things in there. I have, like, flowers in these boxes, hair things and stuff like that. I have some, this bottom box actually, I got those at Ikea and there's little compartments and I put like my bath bombs and stuff in there and that mask is actually um, <clears throat> my Halloween costume. I was like this steampunk person and it was really cute. And then over here, I'll actually show you. This says, do not disturb. And I have some like beauty and lifestyle books I keep in my girly room. And then just some random um, uh, jewelry things. And then this is just bobby pins. I'm running out. <laughs> and then here I keep my white strips. I need more of those, obviously. So I'm used them all. And then there's all of my like facial stuff that I don't use that often. It's like this is empty. And then down here. Um, <clears throat> if you can kind of see it, 
it's like cotton swabs and I have some stuff for like my feet like cuticle remover and little pumice stones and then rubbing alcohol and witch hazel which they're not pretty items but I use them sometimes and then there's another box down here what's in here more like pedicure stuff and I actually don't do my own nails but I guess sometimes if I want to do a pedicure and I look crazy so I've been cleaning all day but um <clears throat> There's my Groot, and I love him, and this is actually like one of my all-time favorite things in the whole room, and it was a nightlight and it broke, but I found it on Amazon. It looks just like my cats, Vinny and Hundin, which is crazy, and then I keep Q-tips. These little pads I get at, um, I think I used to get them at BJ's in bulk. But now I have a Sam's Club card, so I order them on Amazon, and they are actually, like, the best ever because they're super, um, <clears throat> they're just really good quality. Like, this side has, like, the cotton and stuff, but this doesn't actually, like, lint cotton onto anything. It doesn't get it on your face or anything, so that's a good thing. And then I keep my floss in my makeup room, which is probably weird for some people, but I don't like going to the bathroom because I go in my mouth. And then um, nail files and um, nail trimmers and nail tools. And then down here, <clears throat> I keep all of my tools, like nose hair trimmer. Um, this is another kind of hair trimmer. This is the, you know, like a sharpener and little tiny scissors and little, just different little tools, a lot of tweezers and stuff. And over on the corner, I think I have a castor oil and a tea tree oil, and those are just four. I'd have them out of sight because they're kind of ugly. And then actually over here in the back, I have this thing called For Today, and it's like a little daily devotional. It's actually from Overeaters Anonymous, but it's really good. And these are my makeup brushes. <clears throat> um, my favorite makeup brushes are these Tokidoki ones. They're super adorable. And this one I use for a blush. And I have a couple more Tokidoki. Let me see. This one. He's so adorable. And this one. And I love it. So cute, right? And then I just have a variety. I have some that are like basic. Like this one is techniques. And this is good for like contouring. Um, also, this is a contouring. A lot of eyeshadow brushes. This one actually comes with... Um, this came with my luminizer. I forgot what it says on it. I don't know what it says. But then, um, okay. And here's some more. And my favorite brush ever is my foundation brush. And I love it. And it's by Tarte. And it's just the best little chunky. Um, it's really dense. It's so good for foundation. I used to use this guy from Bare Minerals and I need to wash him out. Oh, here's another Tokidoki brush that I love. It's like a little cow. And <clears throat> uh, my other tar brush. As you can tell by the color, I use it for contouring some a little bit and putting on bronzer. And just a lot of brushes in there. There's one from Sephora. Huh, you know what? Where the flip the heck? Probably these ones are my Sephora brushes. So I love those, but my favorite is my Tarte. And then I have a spray bottle. I use it for everything. I use it for doing my daughter's hair. I use it for um, wetting my beauty blenders. I use it for setting my makeup, everything. And then I have this awesome makeup mirror, and I love it. Um, <clears throat> these are some of my beauty products that I use like basically almost every day and some of them this is a rose petal witch hazel and it's really good it's just really old-fashioned and it just really works really good I use a toner just to clean off my face after I wash it bioderma I like this stuff but I don't like it as much as I thought I would um it's the micelle water and um it's from France and it's okay um, the Dermatologica, oh my goodness, I just got this for my winter um, Fit Fab Fun Box, and I love <clears throat> this stuff. Um, it's so good, and um, I'm going to definitely reorder it. Um, Olay, my go-to, like, over-the-counter 
just like basic drugstore um, moisturizer. This is um, <clears throat> vitamin C, which I put on my face. And this stuff I love. It's so sticky. This is the Josie Moran Pure Argan Oil. It's pretty pricey, but I've had it for like almost two years. And you can see, probably like a year and a half, going on two years probably, yeah. And if you can see, the level is like right there. So it lasts like a long time and it's just super hydrating and I love it. Actually, if you use this, it's pure oil, but your face stays less oily than normal. This is Lore. It's by, um, let's see the name of it. Um, Guerre Lane or something like that. Guerre Lane. I don't know. Um, I wanted to love this stuff. It's supposed to be like a good primer and just a good, like, um, kind of radiant kind of thing you can use on your face like a moisturizer and honestly not worth the money um my go-to makeup remover and just a little olay it's for around the eyes and it kind of works so i'm gonna oh yeah also <clears throat> over here i have my little hello kitty and another foam case and then over here i have my um little extra earrings and my little hair clips and then there's my It's a 10, and behind that, this is my go-to hair products. I don't put them in drawers because they will spill out if they're laid down. It's a 10. I use that almost every single day. And then the Nevo. Um, if I'm going to wear my hair just kind of like back in a clip or ponytail, I use this a lot. It's a really good leave-in, but I don't like to blow dry that in there. And then there's like a mousse, and then there's some eyeglass lens cleaner. And by there, that's Kendi. Almost out of this stuff. But it's candy dry oil mist. When my hair was really dry, it worked really good and I'm almost out. So I'm probably not going to get it because my hair is not that dry right now. And then there's my little wipes containers. And so now I'm going to show you um, <clears throat> my makeup. So we'll start down here. Actually, I'll probably show you my under drawers and then my makeup and then I'll show you what's in there. So under here, and this one is all of my foundations. Um, there's quite a few and this thing falls out so I have to be really careful. But my favorite go-to <clears throat> daily is this one and honestly I'm not a huge fan of L'Oreal but I love this stuff. I don't know why. It just is so good. It blends so good and it's winter so I mix the light with the medium that I use in the summer. So the light is too light for me, even in the winter. It's gonna look really dead. Down here I have my hair products. I have a lot of like dry shampoo, dry shampoo. Everybody raves about this stuff. It's a really <clears throat> light hold. And it says extra hold, but honestly it's not all that. Um, this is another dry shampoo. No, this one is not. This is actually a, <clears throat> This is the Brazilian Blowout. It's really expensive, but it's really good. Um, there's just a lot of stuff in there. I'm not going to go through all of it. If you want to know something, you can ask me. Uh, okay, yeah, down here. Um, some good deep conditioner. Also good for a leave-in. S-Factor. I love that stuff. And there's some extensions and some bristle brushes. And I don't use those extensions. I love extensions. All of my hair stuff, my clips, my elastics, and um, my rat tail combs, and some headbands. And my daughter uses a lot of these <clears throat> headbands and rubber bands and stuff. And then this is um, more hair care products, and this is like mostly for my daughter's hair. There's the stuff that I love, the coconut milk, and this stuff is for her hair. It looks pretty good. And the curl sculpt. This stuff is so cool. So just basic hair care. And then, ugh, I'm bad at filming this. I do this. And all of my hair coloring stuff. Why is it not focusing? There we go. All my hair coloring stuff is down in this bottom drawer. And then my hair tools are over here. So we have the Chi. It's the pink one and it comes this little holster which is pretty cool it just kind of clings and then my hot tools and that's my 
curly wand and I already went through that bin so I'm gonna go through the drawers first <clears throat> so this is my um, makeup that I use the most I would say um, and just like my Bath and Body Works I kind of rotate out like these bronzers I will use in the summer more bronzer summer color corrector my mac these are for more when i want to do like heavy coverage my oh there's a hair on that that's nasty let me fix that my blender <clears throat> beauty blenders my concealers glamouflage is it's not expensive but actually works pretty good and then these are some um eyelid primers and this <laughs> This is my favorite thing ever. It's actually Chafing Release Powder Gel from Monistat, which sounds really gross, but it was recommended as a primer and it works really good. Um, the only thing I will say is that if you use it underneath your foundation, I mean, it works really good. Like it's a little tacky and it's um, inexpensive. They say it's a dupe for um, Makeup Forever. And it works really good. It just kind of makes your foundation look a little more um, fuller coverage, but it definitely lasts longer. And these ones are my like everyday use. So besides that foundation in there, which was a BB cream, this is my other kind of fave at the moment. And it's by Too Faced called Born This Way. And it's a little lighter. So, and then I have, this is like, from Physicians Formula. It's a really dark bronzer, which I love any time of the year. And there are, there's a setting powder. <clears throat> this is a setting powder. This is really cheap, but it works really good and I love it. Um, another bronzer. It's a kind of like a light bronzer. Some liquid eyeliner. Some um, NARS pressed powder in the color Desert. I use this guy right here. Well, I used to use this guy for my eyebrows. But I've changed to something else now. And ew, that looks gross with sticker. Um, I love Physicians Formula. I've always done good with their powders. I don't like their foundations. And I hate their eyeshadows. But their bronzers, man, are so good. This is my favorite ever. And then... Um, what else? Yeah. You can tell it's a good bronzer when you're down to the pan. The stuff is good. It has a shimmer to it and I love it. And I love to like really, um, I'll use this one first, this one second, this one third to build length and volume in my eyelashes. And this is my all time favorite. And it's Too Faced. And I forget what it's called, but I think it's called like the Perfect Flush Blush or something like that. This is my favorite Kabuki. <clears throat> it's just a cheap brand, but... I actually have this one right here and it's NARS and I'm so not happy with this. It's like a really nice size kabuki but it sheds like if you just pat it like I don't know if you can see anything but it comes out on your makeup and it's so annoying because I usually use it last with bronzers and stuff and the pack this is not that old guys it's like a couple months old and look at that peeling it's just so ugly right so I wanted to love this. It was like 40 something bucks, but I don't. And this thing I cannot live without. I only curl one side of one eye because my other one is already permanently curled and the other one's not. So that's nasty. I use it so much. It's gross. And then this one is just all kinds of random stuff. Yeah, that sticker plus is equal. Actually, it came from Lane Bryant. It's not stuck up there. It's just kind of sitting there. Um, and here I have like a couple of samples from Urban Decay and some makeup wipes and my shavers that I love. Um, this is just, um, I take this with me traveling. It's just like floss and Q-tips and these makeup remover pads. I have my dental picks extra toothbrushes, tissues. I love these little things when I want to wear my bangs back. <clears throat> Oil blotters, a little sewing kit. Um, these are just the nail stuff. These are also, I had to get these. I don't know if I'll ever use them. 
but they're actually press-on toenails and I was like oh my god they're so cute so I got them this is actually a lip plumper and it works really good and I use it sometimes yep and this is my little lint roller I got little extra nails guys um my derma roller is what I use in conjunction with that guy right there that vitamin C um I don't use a lot a couple maybe like once or twice a month but I like it. It makes your skin really fresh and it does um, seem to kind of like, I don't know, it just helps with your skin tone. Like I have a problem with like discoloration sometimes. So I'm gone. My bikini perfect trimmers that I love. Um, these are my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Um, Naked 2, which is, oh, how can you pick, right? They're also, so hold on, let me grab it. Naked 2. Tell it has a lot of use in it. I love it. And then Naked 3. Naked 3 is so pretty. And it's not that old, so it doesn't have a ton of use, but I'm definitely going to do it. And this is brand new, so I haven't used it. I do a lot of smoke. Are the dogs okay? I'm sorry, the dogs are going crazy. Smoky. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to. And this, I love this guy. I love Too Faced. And I want to get another one called Boudoir Eyes. But this one I use all the time for my eyebrows, which is a little dark, but it works. This is a cheap little palette. I don't really use it honestly anymore. Um, yeah, and over here, we'll get to this guy. This is all of my lip glosses. Um, there's a couple different ones ranging from drugstore which I like this one to this is like my MAC one and then and I really love um whitening lightning I don't know what that one is this whitening lightning is really good and then this one I love right now it's called it's by Sigma and it's lip vex in the color tender I love that and then this one is my lip liners and my lipsticks. And honestly, I don't do too much lipsticks. I do either bright pink or mostly nude. And that's basically my go-tos and my lip liners. You can tell are just nude. And then I have an array of these guys. Mascaras, eyeliners, and stuff. And some of them are like mostly used, but I still love them. Oh, they're really big this guy right here sometimes it's a good primer sometimes and then <clears throat> here I have some mats some mac pots that are mostly this is mostly like all smoky eye stuff and I don't right? and then here's some other just ones I use sometimes and what else okay this drawer this is randomness sewing kit jewelry jewelry just some little I did not know that they were there. And here's that. Oh, this is called Kissaholic, and it's just done for Victoria's Secret. I used to keep it in my purse. This is all of my vape stuff. Sometimes I vape. And I'm not going to all of my eyelashes. And these ones are my all time favorite red cherry. And, but there's so different like, kinds in here, and a lot of them are just from like Amazon. And these ones are actually I love them. And then these are all makeups, all not makeups, what am I saying? All my jewelry stuff packed away. And then randomness, my husband's chain. Oh yeah, this is that unique mascara. Um, do I love it? Not really. The fibers got in my eyes, and it's irritating my. This is a huge Playboy bunny flag. My husband got me. I do not want it. And that's Ugg Cleaner. <coughs> okay, so this is my bag. And I love him. And he's not on the shelf because I don't want it to get um, creased. But it's the uh, GM Neverfull in uh, Demir Azor. I think it's called. Um... Yeah, I love this bag. I only use it in the summertime, um, but I do love it. 
it's patina in kind of well. It's probably like two and a half years old. Um, what I really, really want for, not for Christmas, sorry, my birthday more than anything is I want the same one, but in the, um, a bean color, the brown one. <clears throat> and I really want it. And, um, these are my nail polishes. And like I said, I don't paint my own nails, but I always bring my own polish to the salon because I like to have like a look kind of ready and sometimes they don't have the color and color is everything and like I really am into let's see where my finger is I love these nudes I love those nudes that nude I love that nude right there and yeah that one right there is like the best I'll get you a closer look um my favorite colors this one is my favorite color probably right I don't know so yeah, all my favorite colors. And that's like a little business card I got when I bought some polish one time. If some of them are separating, some of them are getting kind of old. And the color I'm wearing right now, called Mod About You, it's right there. So this little lamp I got at a yard sale, <laughs> that was cute. My husband found these at a yard sale and he got them. And they honestly are a little too rugged for my taste. They're kind of a little rough, but he for like a dollar so I was like okay so this is just the closet <coughs> I have a really nice vanity bench over there but it's not pink and this one is so I didn't want to get rid of it because I love it so much um there's a towel on there because I have cats and they know how to open doors and they love that bench they just open the door and go in there and um I have my other throw pillows that are really cute this one says um keep calm and read a book and that one says boys are toys and ice oh my goodness this one, they're falling out but i swap them out sometimes and this is all my hoodies and that's my husband's and a little foot spa and there's a couple of um can't see it but there's some makeup bags down there that I use when I travel and just some overflow of like face wash and face mask and shavers and flossers I know it's dark sorry but yeah this is my little contraption it's like a little thing you put on your head and it dries your hair like a hair salon so <clears throat> sorry this video is so janky <laughs> Um, I probably sound crazy because my voice is killing me, but, um, this is my makeup room. And I think I got it all. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.